hair is new. I'm going to take my hat off and it's going to look gross, but I just want to show you guys. I have no hairs. So I'm slowly going blonde, obviously. Basically this time around, I still got like this coppering color down here and that's from my old black dye that I had dyed my hair a while ago. So that's what that is. So she kind of just like blended it down so that it's blonder at the top than at the bottom. I really like that. And then she also still left some of my old, like this color is my natural color and it's, you know, throughout my hair, and she kind of did that so that it would blend better, and my eyebrows still match. She didn't have to dye my eyebrows, so that's nice. So I'm gonna put my hat back on now because my hair is old and needs to be washed, but I didn't wash it today. And then I got my septum pierced too, so that's what's new with me. Thumbs up if you like it. Today I'm doing a products I've used up video because I've collected quite a few things. I've got a little bag here. Well, let's get started. The first things I have in here are some makeup wipes. I already did a full comparison and review between these two, the Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse Wipes and then the Yes2 Age Refresh Acai Scented Wipes from Target. So I will link that down below, but I also have finished up the Yes2 correct and repair grapefruit wipes. And I really liked these way better than the purple ones. These purple ones I did not like at all. The Dermalogic ones I did like, but a little bit too expensive for me for a regular buy. So I tried these out and I really enjoyed these. I would highly recommend them. The next thing I have in here is just one of the up and up brands of nail polish remover. The full acetone takes off nail polish so easy and kind of boring, but whatever. A shit ton of body washes in here. Let's get all of them out. So I've got three body washes here. I've got the Dark Kiss Shower Gel from Bath & Body Works. It smells amazing, I love this scent. And then I've got the Suave Naturals Cucumber Melon one, and I really like this scent too. It's very light, and I like the cucumber smell in general. It smells really good. And then I've got the Melon Shower Gel from Body Nature, and this one was okay. It's uh, just a kind of small, goes by really quick. And Matt and I share our body washes. We don't have two separate ones, so it goes by really fast with two people using it. Oh, and I missed one. I've got the Dove Go Fresh Nutrium Moisture, and it's the Pomegranate and Lemon Verbena scent. This stuff was so moisturizing. I loved this stuff. I would definitely be repurchasing this brand and the the type, even if not necessarily the scent. I liked the scent, but it, you know, I could change it up, see something else if I like it. So next I'm gonna go through some makeup removing, some more makeup removing stuff, but these aren't wipes. I've got quite a few. So I used up the eye makeup remover liquid by Up and Up. I liked this stuff. It's oil free, so it goes really well. I actually use these things for my makeup brushes and it, they work really well. So I just like dip my makeup brush dirty in it and then swirl it around on my hand rinse it with water and then I usually use one pump of like hand soap to get the rest off because I don't want to waste this but it gets out a lot of the makeup so I like that so the up and up brand that was a good one I have some Neutrogena oil free makeup remover it's basically the exact same thing this up and up brand is supposed to be the the Neutrogena version so also good just a little bit more expensive than that up and up brand but does just the same work. And then I had a sample of the Bobbi Brown Instant Long Wear Makeup Remover, and it worked just as well. It worked really well. It was just a sample size, and uh, I just wouldn't pay for it because Bobbi Brown is too expensive for me, but it works, and if you have the means, I would say try it out. And then this last one I actually hated, and this is the All May, All May Long Wear and Waterproof Gentle Eye Makeup Remover. And this one was kind of a mixture of oil and liquid. And that was the problem because, uh, like I said, I use these for my makeup brushes. And so it just, like, made my makeup brushes disgusting. It didn't, like, clear off. Even using a pump of hand soap afterwards, it, my brushes were still oily after washing them and then I washed them a second time and they still weren't like perfect so I had to wash them a third time before all of the oils got out and that really sucked so I would not suggest this for your makeup brushes 
However, it does work really well on your face, but you still have to wash your face after. Kind of like the pre-cleanse wipes. Then I have a toner in here. This is the Botanics Rose Water Toning Spritz. I liked this a lot. It just was a little bit of a refresher and it didn't have any weird residues or anything and it smelled nice. If you like floral scents, you'll like this because it definitely smelled like roses. I've got a toothpaste, random. It was the Crest Sensitivity Original Formula and I actually hated this toothpaste, so I would not suggest it. It tastes weird. And then I've got a purifying mask from Caudalie, and this was just a sample size. I liked this stuff. Obviously, it just wasn't that big, so it really was only one mask's worth. But if you bought the full size, I'm sure it wouldn't only be one mask's worth. And then I also have a Botanics Hydrating Day Cream Sunscreen. I loved this stuff. I need to repurchase it. The only complaint I have is that it's in one of these where you have to scoop it out. I didn't really like that because sometimes I got too much and whatever i prefer a pump or like the squeezy one just not a scooper but i mean it worked and i liked the product itself and i have a little perfume it was the viva le juicy la fleur and i love this scent it's one of my favorite perfumes but again i'm cheap and so i probably will not be repurchasing it because i just don't have the means to be buying a perfume but a christmas gift or a birthday gift that would be nice to all those people who actually know me out there um, yeah, so I really like the scent. Everything else in here is makeup. So I have the Lash Accelerator Endless Mascara from Rimmel, and I really, really, really liked this mascara. I loved the brush. It has a little kind of, it's just a little bit angled, if you can see that up. And I really liked that. It made it a little bit easier to get into the outer edges, and it was like, kind of dry formula but not too dry and I liked that as well. I kind of like those in-between formulas and yeah I would definitely repurchase this. Then I've got the Revlon Colorstay 24 hour foundation. I think I have talked about this foundation before. I really really liked it. I haven't repurchased it yet because I am trying to use up a lot of the foundations that I still have in my makeup collection so I'm trying not to repurchase new stuff until I get rid of some more. But yeah, really, really, really like this. I also have L'Oreal's Magic Smooth Souffle Foundation, and this stuff is unfortunately discontinued, but I really liked the formula of it. It did dry out as time went on, and so that made it a little bit annoying to put on, but obviously if it hadn't been discontinued, I would have just repurchased it instead of trying to use the last dregs when it was probably time to throw it out. But yeah, really loved the formula of this stuff and I'm sad it's gone. Okay, I have another mascara in here and it is the Fibra Lash Extend Extreme Black Lengthening Mascara. And it had a little mirror on it and that was nice, but I honestly didn't like the formula of this. It felt like I opened it up for the first time and it was already gone because it was such a dry formula that I just felt like there was no product left which is not a good thing so yeah I probably wouldn't recommend this one but I did finish it off so or I think I finished it off I don't know the last few things here I have a skin vanish transformer and I kind of just used this as a primer in the summer because it kind of gives you a glowy look I liked it okay but I probably wouldn't buy anything like this again I got this in a birch box and then I got this Mana Sheer Glow Shimmer Lotion. And this stuff I also got in a birch box and I loved it. I used this, it's like such a pretty shimmery color. I used this in my Get Ready With Me to go to Disneyland. So I will link that video down below as well if you want to see what it looks like on the cheeks. I kind of used this as a highlighter slash blush because it was dark enough where it could be used as a blush, but it definitely had shimmer in it so if you are not a fan of that maybe not for you but you could also just use it as a highlighter too i just really liked it all over the cheek it was beautiful the last thing i have here is my kate lipstick in number 12 rosetto maybe that's the color of the lipstick because that is the lipstick and it was it's a perfect dupe for la orange by mac it's the same matte finish. It's really, really, really pigmented. I mean, look at that. But the I accidentally left it in my purse in my car one day, and it was one of those really, really hot days here in Southern California. And so it melted all over the place, and so 
the lipstick is here and like there's nothing left in the cap and that made me really sad so I didn't really finish this product up it just was destroyed on accident so I would definitely repurchase this I'm not sure if it still is sell selling or if oh it's by Rimmel by the way it's Kate by Rimmel but yeah I'm not sure if, if this was a product that is regular or if it was you know I don't know so but yeah I would definitely repurchase this and it's such a pretty color and if I can't find the Kate by Rimmel I would probably end up spending money to buy Low Orange by MAC because it's such a beautiful color and yeah that is everything in my products I've used up in the last couple months so I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to check out all my social media links if you want to talk to me on there make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys next time bye